I'm going to be giving you the best after patch fast lags for Roblox, which are going to fix lag, boost your FPS, and even lower ping in some cases. My videos are worked for all these people you can see on screen and like thousands of others. So make sure to watch to the end for the best results. So first of all, I'm just going to show you my fast flags right here. You're going to be able to download this over on my Discord server. I know everyone complains about that, but if you start now, you would have downloaded it by the time I finished saying this. And it's because YouTube sometimes blocks the links in the description. I don't know why they'll remove like a media file link, for example, and, and Google Drive is low-key just sketchy. So to join my Discord, I don't care. You can leave afterwards, but feel free to stay. Once it's downloaded, you can have two options. Yes, I'm being generous. You're getting two options. For those that play Rivals, you're going to have Rivals fast flags which as you can see are stacked and for anyone who plays any other game you're gonna have these which yeah they're not as stacked now the reason for this is because the rivals ones strip your game far more so there'll be textures that are not gonna load and for rivals it's fine but in other games it's gonna you know ruin the experience but yeah very simple let's say i want the one for all other games i'll go in here and it's literally right here it's actually a notepad file ready for you all you have to do is copy and paste this this is a traditional way i'm going to show you the traditional way and then i'm going to show you how to do it after patch if it does not load correctly but usually you'd go to your client settings folder now to do that my directory will be a little bit different to you but usually it'll be in your local c drive if you go to this pc it'd be either your drives usually again your local c drive in here you're looking for a folder called roblox if you can't find it here it's going to be in program files and if not in program files it'll be in program files x86 and once in that folder you want to go to versions you're going to want to click the top version folder if you have multiple of these you want to right click and press sort by date modified you want to basically go on the latest version and in here client settings there we go what we want to do now is literally copy and paste my client settings and basically paste them in here just right click paste you want to press replace this file in destination and what that's going to do is it's going to give you the fast flags now this was the old way to do it and now i'm pretty sure it doesn't load half of these because a lot of these were now in a blacklist but there's a workaround for that what you want to do is type in run right here you want to type in percent local app data percent in here you want to press r on your keyboard or just scroll down and look for roblox you're going to go to client settings and here lxp or i think there's an l or an i actually i'm not too sure but this top one l or i IXP settings. In here, this is where you want to paste your fast flags. As you can see, um, it's a bit messy right now. And I think this is actually only loading the ones that it, the game's, you know, allowing and hasn't blacklisted. But we're going to change that and we're going to basically override this. So all you need to do is, if it wasn't already obvious, you want to open up the fast flags or the client settings I previously gave you. Right click, copy and paste the actual content of the notepad. And in the LXP or IXP settings, again, I'm not too sure. I think it's IXP actually. Here, you're going to control A to select everything in here, or you can just manually select it all. But control A is easier. It'll select everything think press backspace and then press Control v or right click and paste the actual fast flag the ones we want and all you have to do is press save and after that make sure this is a mandatory requirement otherwise the game when it's launched is going to basically automatically change all of it in properties attributes right here you want to press read only make sure this is ticked press apply press ok and it really is that simple now you have the best fast flags and if they weren't loading before you've now got the new method which is 100 percent through and through they are going to work no issues whatsoever and these are like objectively the best fast flags i have a full video like further optimizing roblox like some actual settings in the game that are not on the back end i also have a video how to optimize windows for roblox and i highly suggest you check that out because fast flags are not everything yes they will help your performance but there's so much more you can do and even if this video has helped your fps why wouldn't you want more 